What's the crack everybody? My name is Bobber and this is more Life is Strange. This is going to be the start of episode 3 and I cannot wait to play it. Look, so far from what we've done, I just, I, I want more of it. So, in the last episode, we um we kind of had like a memorial thing for Kate. Some, there was like a picture of her candles and stuff. We were being questioned about, about what happened. Just, just go back and watch it. I'm going to leave all of episode 2 in a playlist down below so you can check that out there. But for now, we're going to jump straight into episode 3. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I wonder what it is. She I wants still to show can't me. stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. I have a rabbit now. I shall name him Charles. Charles the rabbit. I shall feed him. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Yeah, and he has loads of water, right? I'll talk to you later, Charles. Go on. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... I swear, if I tried to use the light on my phone for that long, it would be dead. Like, no doubt about it. Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. The main hall? That's... Somebody speaking. Principal Wells! Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What do I do? I'll have to rhyme someday. <laughs> I'm playing too much uh, Firewatch. I forgot that you can kind of do that in this game. Is that as far back as I can go? I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Max the ninja yes. strikes again. Well, that was weird. I didn't actually get caught, and that's better. I'm usually I usually die, or I usually get caught and stuff like that. So I'm getting better at the game. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? Chloe said that she wanted to meet up, and she said that she had something to show me. But it could just be like a, a new beer or a pack of guns or something. I don't know. Booyah! <laughs> oh, there she is. Get it? Booya! Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. Four times, actually. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. 
We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Done. <laughs> See, here's my thought process on this one. There was... What, there was the principal, there was two security guards, there was... And there was the teacher in that room talking about Kate. And that's going to be brought to the authorities. But Rachel, there doesn't seem to be anything being done about her. I don't even have to try and justify it. I'm going to with Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... She is alive. Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. So we're breaking so into the school. In crime. As long as you're my partner in crime. Insert groan here. Ah. This should be really interesting. So if they go into the school, I can imagine so look for, for different for files. Oh, hang on. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it.
Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? You can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. We're gonna get caught, aren't we? There has to be, like, at the end of every episode, it keeps on going to a picture of a file, a red, like, folder, with Rachel's name on it. So that must have some information. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Where did you get those? Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. But now she's not gonna have any light on the door. I'm questioning things again. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. In the drawer, maybe? Desolation. Nope. They have to be somewhere. Uh, no keys here. No key for these. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. The door. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Oh, this is another gathering quest. Uh, I hate these. Ah. All right, so we got all of the ingredients. That actually took a lot less time than I had imagined it was going to. I'm going to cut it all out of the video regardless because it was fairly boring. Here's just a little look into what happened. Uh. So as you can see, nothing too major. Right. Chloe, come here to me. We have all the stuff. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. cool oh we are toast here comes the whole arcadia bay fire and police department uh so what should we do rewind this is the this is the right option isn't it it's it's just gonna ah for jesus sake but I know, after rewinding out, I know what's gonna happen after we do this. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! <sighs> I mean, 
mean by that? Don't say I didn't try. Whoa, what the hell? Well, they get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a real one. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, Dora. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, Sissa. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My that was powers so cool. only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Like, I did not think of that at all. Jeez, that was brilliant. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going for the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Just... Please don't accidentally delete his hard drive or anything. Like you can't rewind and fix it. I don't want to make it a habit, okay? Whatever, crackhead. You're hooked. Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. Okay, that was a great cutscene and all. But I'm sure you noticed it as well. There was a photo opportunity that I never took. Oops. Chloe. Say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. Probably not the best idea to uh, to take pictures when you're breaking into somewhere, but uh, what do I know? Let's have a look. Oh, wow. I have missed so many of them. Like, this episode's only at the start, and so far I've missed four pictures. What the hell? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super He Bros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you going to make a big issue option. out of this? 
Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. I hate this game. No, I've already taken the picture of her that could be used as evidence. I'm probably overthinking this as the same way I usually do. Ah, leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know oh, yeah, you need that to pay too. Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Now that was the right option. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I'm actually going to end this episode here before we go swimming or whatever is going to happen. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like or subscribe because each one would help very much. If you've got any suggestions for games I should play, leave them down here in the comments and I'll have a look right through them. But until the next time, I'll talk to you all later. Good luck.